Hi, this is Marcy Rader, your productivity lead at Rader Co. I'm the principal contributor to the Health Powered Productivity Podcast, where we give you bite-sized nuggets of knowledge in areas of productivity, health, and clutter that you can implement right away. Looking for ways to support our Health Powered Productivity mission? We welcome donations to our tip jar linked in the show notes. We encourage you to check out our Raider Co. recommendations page on our site, where we list all of our favorite products, services, and apps. We get a little kickback and you get vetted tools that we use ourselves. Now, on with the show. In 2008, I read the book, The Power of Less by Leo Babata, and it changed my life. It was then that I started on this journey of decluttering my home, my digital space, my clothes, my life in general. I started reading every book I could find and every blog post on minimalism and ended up downsizing twice to our current house, which is about 1,100 square feet. Now, I would not call myself a minimalist in any way. And while I love to vacation in tiny homes, I couldn't live in one. Both my husband and I are very high on the privacy scale, as in we need a lot of it. Now, when it comes to decluttering, there are novice, pro, and master levels. For example... In my latest book, Work Well, Play More, Productive, Clutter-Free, Healthy Living, One Step at a Time, decluttering is one of the categories, and we have novice, pro, and master levels, and the month that we cover the bathroom, the novice level is just travel-sized toiletries. The pro level is all the other toiletries, and master is the linen closet. I like Leah Babata's method of starting with one drawer. The kitchen, especially, is often really overwhelming. Just start with your utensils. One thing that I did uh, maybe about three different times is I put all my utensils in a box. And after a month, I would see what I had used because every time I would use one, I would put it back in the drawer. And then whatever was left and I didn't use for a month, you know, in that month, then I just donated it. At the Raider Rodenball house, we declutter every room in our home every few years, one room at a time per month until we've gone through the house, the shed, the garage. And we did this. Um, Back in December in our bedroom, I, you know, we just, it took us all of like 30 minutes for the entire month. Um, we just hung out in the bedroom and we, you know, went through all, all of the stuff in there. And then just last week we did the living room. The living room took us even less time because we have hardly anything extra in there. Um, it maybe took us about 10 minutes. Now, the garage may take a few months because we'll need to do sections at a time. We have two, um, we have a two car garage. My husband has a wood shop. We have a lot of sporting equipment. So that we will divide up. But doing it this way keeps us from getting overwhelmed um, or spending entire days working on this project. And we can check that complete box sooner. So every month we choose a room or in the instance of the garage, a section, and we just spend anywhere from 10 minutes to maybe it takes an hour, you know, decluttering and deciding what's going to stay, what's going to go. Now, when we talk about it, we call it KonMari. You know, we're going to KonMari the garage. We're going to KonMari the office. We're going to KonMari the kitchen, even though we are asking if something sparks joy. So Marie Kondo, who I absolutely adore, um, and I've read the book about um, the, you know, to to spark joy. Uh, I don't completely agree with her method. I'm just not totally into it. Like I don't hold up everything and say, does this spark joy? Does this spark joy? But I, 
I do like her style a lot. And I loved the Netflix show. I just want to hang out with her. Um, and I, I want there to be a season two. There needs to be a season two. But there's something about saying, let's con Murray the living room. That sounds so much nicer than let's declutter the living room. I think that's one of the reasons why my husband is, um, it's easier for him to do it because con Murray just sounds better. So if you have an area you need to declutter, just consider one room or one drawer or one category at a time, and then put yourself on a regular schedule so it doesn't get out of control. And there is nothing wrong with hiring a professional organizer. In fact, everything about it is right. If you have different goals than your family members, bring a professional organizer in to mediate. If you have a hard time getting rid of stuff, they can help talk you through it. One of my favorite questions when I'm considering keeping something out of guilt because family or friends gave it to me is, does this item have a soul? Does it have a soul? So there you have it. This is how I declutter my spaces or KonMari without feeling overwhelmed. Thank you for listening to the Raider Co. Health Powered Productivity Podcast. Please subscribe, leave a review, and forward this episode to at least one person you know could benefit. And can I ask a favor? If you felt this podcast was valuable, please consider supporting it by donating to our tip jar to continue giving you bite-sized nuggets of knowledge. And get your sneak peek of my latest book, Work Well, Play More, Productive, Clutter-Free, Healthy Living, One Step at a Time, with the novice behaviors from Chapter 1 that includes how to deal with all those rings, pings, and buzzes, how to declutter your digital desktop and why it's important, and how to play hide-and-seek with your food to help with portion control. It's waiting for you at helloraderco.com forward slash gift.